it's amazing what you can accomplish when you decide you will. I woke up one morning in, in uh, January 2011 and um, saw something that turned out to be a lump. Later that week, I had a mammogram and then later um, a biopsy. Found out within a day or two that it was cancer. Was sort of numb and, and shocked at first. Okay, what do we need to do? And then, you know, the, that march with the 50 pound, pound pack on your back started. Telling a patient that she has breast cancer is very, very difficult. It's, uh, it's emotionally gut-wrenching. The day that my oncologist told me and confirmed that I was going to lose my hair, and that was the first time that I cried. The realization that I could die and I could leave my kids behind was the second time I cried. We put a team around her and we come up with a plan and make her feel as safe as we can during this treatment process. Letting her know that we'll t take care of the cancer, but we're also gonna take care of her. In our partnership with the Vince Lombardi Cancer Foundation, Aurora Cancer Care is trying to deliver a truly multidisciplinary program to all cancer patients across uh, the state of Wisconsin. We want to develop the best treatments based on evidence to take the best care of our patients to give them the optimal chance to beat their cancers. Cori is a, a great woman. Uh, I remember the first day I met her when she was first diagnosed with breast cancer and I could tell she was one of those go get them girls. She's like, all right, what do we need to do? Let's get to work. Rolled up our sleeves and that's the attitude that we took. When I had my, my first appointment and met Dr. TJ it was night and day compared to the, the care that I had gotten elsewhere. Everything from the beginning to the end said, I want you to be informed. I care about what's happening to you. I'm an expert at what I do. I understand what's happening to you and can, there's, there's stuff we can do. And I think the patients get world-class care here. The patients uh, come into our system in Kenosha or Northern Illinois, they will receive the same high quality care through one of our many Vince Lombardi Foundation centers. Team Phoenix was born out of the idea of let's train women for this triathlon and pair these scientists with our patients, exercise improves survival, but no one really understands yet how? The idea of doing a triathlon just was, did not seem like it was within my realm of capabilities, let's say. But she had a great team of coaches and volunteers. You break it down day by day. You just do this today and you just do this. It was the same thing as like going through your treatment. One foot in front of the other, one day at a time. Let's just worry about today. Survival at its very basic level is one step at a time. And I remember doing the, the 5K in the run, and just one foot in front of the other. One step, one step, one step, one step, one step. What's great about the Vince Lombardi Cancer Foundation is that the, the money that's raised comes back to our patients. It's very, very gratifying to see the uh, progression in the field that allows us to cure more patients. It's one of our greatest rewards as a physician to see a patient not only cancer free, but to literally pick up the ball and run with it to help others after her. When it comes to the actual race day, I run her in, literally, and it is my 10 second window to, um, to share with her just a few words of inspiration of how she changed me and uh, what I saw in her 
and to bring all that with her and take it across that finish line. When I got to the end and I saw Judy there, I, I'm i hoping that whatever tears I might have shed were hidden in the sweat that was pouring down my face. But seeing her there and that she was still involved and still engaged, just dig, you can do it, dig, 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 and knowing that I had more and could always have more. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you decide you will.